Two African Americans in Mexico are dead. Two have been found. One is the, the, one of those found injured. They were kidnapped on Friday when they went there to Matamoros, where one of them was trying to get a tummy tuck. Folks, uh, this is video showing them uh, being kidnapped on Friday. The four individuals, folks, Latavia Tay McGee, uh, Shai Woodard, Zendo Brown, and Eric James Williams, again, traveled to Mexico from South Carolina for a tummy tuck procedure. The mother of one of them said she told her daughter, do not go, but she said it was going to be safe. But they ran into the, the Gulf cartel, which dominates Matamoros. The U.S. State Department has advised Americans not to travel to the Mexican state due to the risk of crime and kidnapping. And the FBI got involved, had a $50,000, um, uh, of course, um, notice out, information leading to where they were. They partnered with Mexican law enforcement agencies as well. Again, two of the four have been killed. Two have been found. My panel, Dr. Mustafa Santiago, a lead former senior advisor for environmental justice at the EPA, Dr. Candace Matthews, statewide vice chair, Texas Coalition of Black Democrats, Dr. Larry J. Walker, assistant professor, University of Central Florida. Candace, I'm going to start with you. There are a number of people who travel to Mexico and other countries to get medical procedures. I know somebody who went to Turkey for their veneers. Folks go to Mexico uh, for, for plastic surgery. You got Brazilian butt lifts. We can go on and on and on. We're talking about going to a place here where folks went for a tummy tuck, two are now dead. You know what, Roland, let me tell you something. You have people that always go to Mexico for different surgery procedures, as well as veneers, as well as uh, gastric bypass and things of that such. And normally what they would do, they'll have them to where they would travel um, with an actual medical bus that would take them to the medical hospital and then also take them to the for them to get their medical procedure. But what happened on that specific video was horrid. And it was horrific. Uh, that video pretty much pushed me over the edge to the fact where I don't even want to go to Mexico, OK? Because one, what I'm interested in at this point right now, what is it that the US is going to do what type of plan do they have in place to retrieve our brothers and sisters? Also, I would like to know which civil rights organization or what civil rights organizations they are going to come into play to also work in congruence with the United States government to retrieve our brothers and sisters. Also, I was told, um, allegedly, they, they were targeted as uh, Haitian drug lords. So this is interesting it is scary and it is close to home uh look th th this is real simple uh mustafa you don't know what you're walking into when you go into a foreign country you don't know who's controlling what area i mean we talk about there being gang control areas in the united states we're talking about in a place where yes where folks are killed they are beheaded so is a tummy tuck worth your life yeah, you got to make some hard decisions. It really shouldn't be that hard about saving a little longer and getting the procedure done here. There are numbers that about 300,000 people leave our country every year to go seek uh, medical uh, treatment, um, whether it is for plastic surgery or other things uh, each year. And I've worked in Mexico on the border. Uh, I've been to Mexico City a number of locations. It is not a place to play around. If you don't speak Spanish, and even if you do, you can find yourself in a really tough situation very quickly because there are a lot of folks who get kidnapped um, and held for ransom. Um, and uh, unfortunately, we, now we have these two of the four who lost their lives. So folks need to think really hard uh, before deciding to go to Mexico or other countries that are unstable. You gotta remember that the cartels really play a significant role in running government there when you really understand from... Uh, from a, a foreign, uh, you know, process of what's really happening in that space. Uh, bottom line here, Larry, uh, I will caution anybody, especially any African-American, it is not worth your life to travel uh, to Mexico for any type of surgery whatsoever. You had better be paying attention to the State Department, their travel advisors, know where to go, where not to go. Uh, and it's just, again, uh, it, can be, it can be very dangerous. And yes, you can lose your life uh, in one of these areas.
So first, I want to send my condolences to the two individuals that lost their lives. Um, and so, Roland, you highlighted a point I, I think is I want to make and people to understand who are watching the program. People, if you're going out of the country, you need to check the State Department website in terms of any updates. Um, and often, like the State Department put out these warnings for countries, like you said, that you should not travel to. But secondly, travel into uh, Mexico or, like you say, any other country for cosmetic surgery, it, it, it's not worth it. Particularly, like I said, we all the challenges along the, you know, the, the along the border, and so like my colleague described in Mexico City and some other places, you have to be careful. Uh, and as uh, uh, Brother Mustafa said, if you if you speak the language, you still might find yourself in dire straits. So. We need to make sure we use common sense here. And if certainly if they, if the individuals were warned, if it was somebody in my family, I would tell them this is not in your best interest to go to get cosmetic surgery, and particularly, like I said, Mexico. But it costs two individuals their lives. Two other individuals are permanently scarred. And then the family members have to deal with this tragedy for the rest of their lives. Uh, indeed. So certainly our condolences. Uh, but folks, do, do not put your life, uh, don't play Russian roulette with your life uh, if you're running out trying to get uh, one of these surgeries. I mean, this should this should be cautious, a, 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 a caution flag to anybody uh, who is uh, thinking about uh, this very issue. And so, uh, again, it is a huge problem. We talk about people traveling places uh, for uh, medical procedures. All right, folks, back to our my unfiltered video in just one moment. We talk about blackness and what happens in black culture. We are about covering these things that matter to us, uh, speaking to our issues and concerns. This is a genuine people-powered movement. There's a lot of stuff that we're not getting. You get it, and you spread the word. We wish to plead our own cause to long have others spoken for us. We cannot tell our own story if we can't pay for it. This is about uh, covering us. Invest in Black-owned media. Your dollars matter. We don't have to keep asking them to cover our stuff. So please support us in what we do, folks. We want to hit 2,000 people, $50 this month, raise $100,000. We're behind 100000 so we want to hit that. Y'all money makes this possible. Check some money orders. Go to P.O. Box 57196, Washington, D.C., 20037-0196. The cash app is dollar sign RM Unfiltered. PayPal is R Martin Unfiltered. Venmo is RM Unfiltered. Zelle is rolling at rollingsmartin.com.